technology can help in education sector and in the overall training when i talk of education and training it include the preschooling era the schooling era the college and the higher education and maybe on the job training also we all know that each individual is different and that's why each student is also different and everybody has a different way of learning some people are able to learn and understand the things by reading uh, you know reading a lot or going through it some people learn the things by participating into certain things by doing those things or some people remember the things when you they discuss that topic with somebody else or some other expert and then they retain what all they have discussed in that time currently in our education system or i will say in majority of the education system it's more of a one size fit all so it means that a teacher teaches in a same way to almost all the student and giving special attention or different attention to other student is not possible but instead of that if we have certain digital channel or digital ebooks on which a student can go through on its own pace on his own pace he can learn different subject different concepts if there are certain concept which he is finding difficult maybe he can do double click and find more examples to that and if he is not comfortable he will not move to the next chapter so he can pace the way he is learning and there can be more examples can be provided for around the difficult concept so it helps in two ways one is of course is sort of provides a personalized education to each student with the help of this digital channel also because now this data is getting gathered in a passive way so it can be find it out over the years uh, on those let's say 10 subjects which each contain 10 chapters which were the topics where students were spending more time or maybe which example they did many times or read more so it may be either those uh topics are more complex so some more clarity can be provided some more example can be provided and again it's like a uh, this type of course can be evolved over a period of time based on how students are performing or going through the course it has been find out that this type of indirect way of collection of data always is much more powerful than the direct collection of data what it means is that if you ask 10 students of a class how is the teacher or let's say how is the subject normally everybody will say okay because they just don't know so it's not that they don't want to answer correctly they also don't know where they are uh, no not comfortable it's more of a they don't know what they don't know but now with these digital channels and ebooks it can be find it out the chapter or the concept where they were taking more time and those places can be improved and as well as they can take their own time to move to the next chapter so technology can surely help in providing a personalized education the other advantage of technology is that it can help in creating the immersive experience in the school or college itself many times we have seen and which is a good practice of taking is uh, students to a you know field trip to the factory to the industry to the museum so that they learn about various other things though this practice should be continued and it's a good practice but not many school and students are able to afford and it's not possible to visit every place but all many of those places can be created in those college and school in that city their student can visit that uh, you know and those can will can be a very immersive experience just think of it the student sitting here able to visit the famous paris museum or the uh, 
various other gardens of uh, some other country and similarly in the for the medical people uh, people who are involved in the health uh, sector for them the training can be provided because those type of conditions can be created the the condition like the industry can be created in the school and that is uh, through with the help of metaverse ar and vr vr that is augmented reality and virtual reality when these conditions are created uh, which is again immersive and when a student participate in that they will able to learn and you can create virtually anything it means you can create a volcano also or anything related to you know <coughs> astronomy all those things uh, of our various galaxies can be created and a student can learn about uh, based on their interest uh, these things in their school so that is the other advantage third is that now with technology a student can connect and collaborate with the student of other countries of other culture when different and diverse set of people sit together or discuss a topic or try to understand a topic and they learn more instead of you know learning on their own when they discuss this topic of whatever it is it can be there related to sustainability it can be related to environment or it can be related to some other mathematical concept or concept of physics or quantum computing when they discuss among a diverse set of people they come to know about different culture the nuances of other culture and the countries and exchange of ideas happened and that again helps in the overall learning apart from that uh, this uh, technology can help in the gamification of the education so for the various concept uh, games can be created let's say if somebody wants to learn more about agriculture and farming a virtual form and field can be created and it has, it can be told to the student like you know which are the factor which affect the crop which can be you know the the weather the fertilizer the pesticide and many other thing the water and he can be encouraged to sort of do the virtual farming and see the results and various other condition related to weather related to insects can be created so he will come to know and learn in that process i have given a very simple example but like that many other Uh, difficult concept be related to mathematics or physics or behavior science uh, you know these things can be created uh, and it as i said it, it can be gamified which will help those who learn to learn various nuances various other facets which is just not possible by providing those things in the textbook so this is the one more advantage of technology and the technology of course the students record can be stored on blockchain uh, and that will make sure that uh, uh, at the blockchain property is that it is make sure that <coughs> uh, data is tamper proof so whatever their credentials are like sort of it has been recorded on blockchain so nobody can tamper with it so these are the main advantages of it if i summarize it like providing a personalized education Uh, creating a immersive various virtual experience for learning collaborative learning and uh, the gamification of the education learning uh, and in in that i will add to it if we are providing training let's say uh, to the workers who are in some job now with the <coughs> uh, metaverse we can create a situation like you know for the police or for the military how to control the mob so those condition can be created and we can see how they respond to that situation where they will feel like that mob is running towards them or whatever the hilly area the the temperature will be very low and they they shiver so those type of things can be created and it will help providing training for especially for the people who are working in a high risk industries Uh, which are mainly let's say in oil industry 
where or where the people work in the deep sea and many other things are there so providing training is very difficult now those type of experiences can be created can be gamified and on the job training can be provided and they get almost real experience uh, hands on experience on that and apart from that uh, technology helps in securing what are the credential has come on the blockchain and which can be showcased to wherever he wants and everybody knows that this data is real and not tampered so these are the main advantage of technology if you wanted to know more about it you can go to my website www.rakdimsingh.com thank you